How the heck's it going, folks? Welcome back to another video. So right here, we're out here at the river. We're at the boat ramp. We got an empty lot. Well, that's probably because it's about high noon. But we're about to go out into the Mississippi River and run some catfish lines, run some trot lines, do some pole fishing. Before we catch the good old caddy, the meowers. So yeah, just going to take you guys along. We're going to run some wind lines. We got some boogie to put on there. Got some bait. Just going to show you guys how we rod fish. Last time we came out here, we absolutely crushed them. So... Yeah, hopefully get some channels, maybe some flatheads and blues on limb lines. So, see what happens. About to put the boat in here. And I'll see you guys on the river. I got him. Well, guys, I was reeling. I don't want to touch him because of his stuff. I was reeling on my rider bait for catfish, and this guard just smoked it. Now the. Uh, I have gloves. Like, <laughs> never caught a gar before. Very. He's he's a pretty good fighter. Dad, you find those goat shots? Well, he did? Just yeah. absolutely swallowed that worm. Well, that's fun. We're out here uh, rock fishing. I haven't caught, well, my sister caught one little fish, but it's been pretty slow so far. Man. But, yep, we're just getting warmed up on these, uh, getting warmed up on the catfish till the sunset and they should heat up towards then. Alright folks, going along setting our trot line here. We got, I don't know, 30 hooks or so probably, 20, 20 or 30, baiting them with worms, chicken livers, shad. Well folks, we're back, we're back here checking the lines, trying to drive the boat at the same time. This is tricky. But yeah, we, uh, so you saw us put up those limb lines yesterday. So yeah, we're about to go out and check our limb lines. We um, ended up catching a couple of fish on the trot line yesterday. And then, not on the limb lines, we'll see if any fish are on the limb lines. And then we'll check the trot lines. Then we're going to rod fish again, see if we can catch a couple of channels. So yeah, see how we do. Should be a good night. It's pretty sun setting right now, so we're going to stay up pretty late and rod fish. So, should be good. Thank you. All right, nothing on this one. Going back in the water. Oh. Have a shrimp. Thank you. Nothing on this one either. Moving on. Okay, we're it's on the right side of the boat now. Oh gosh. Is it fishing? Yeah. And folks, we are back at the house in the kitchen, as you can tell. So yeah, what happened was we went around the island, um, checked the limb lines. You saw us catch a couple fish on the trot lines, big long lines, but and then we caught a couple fish on the rods. But I tried to record some, but it was there was a lot going on. It was night, so you couldn't see on the river, and like you know how a GoPro is with lighting at night. But ended up caught a couple fish on the rods, not too many, but um, so a couple on those, a couple on the trot lines. But we ended up with some catfish, which was good. And I want to show you guys how to cook it since there wasn't much of the catching. I figured I'd show you guys how we cook it. So if you look here, we have our nice catfish filet that are cleaned up and filleted. We're going to blacken the fish today. Now, blacking the fish is one of my favorite methods to do it because well, it just feels a little healthier than deep frying it. Although deep frying does taste pretty good. But what we're going to use today is this hot sauce seasoning. Never tried it before, but we're going to give it a go. So basically, what you want to do here, I like to use a cast iron like this. It just give, gives it some good seasoning and it's a good surface to to black it on. So you want to get the pan super duper hot. So I started this a bit ago, but while we're waiting for the pan to heat up, we're just going to season our fish here. Just want to get a nice, healthy coating on both sides. This will stuff whatever come out. <laughs> so 
So yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit, but basically we're just gonna keep teasing this on both sides. So we get nice and kind of just rubber in a little bit. Flip it over. And the fish we caught, they're mostly channel catfish. We had a couple tiny blues, but yeah, they're mostly channel catfish, like 12 to 18 inches. So yeah, they were nice, nice fish. We're just rub it, rub the seasoning in here. Get it all nice and put it up in there. Maybe a little bit more on this side. Okay, and then we take our pan. You just want a little bit of olive oil or something. Because if you put too much, then it'd be fried. But you just want a little bit just to grease the pan so it doesn't stick. Just maybe a little more than that. That's all you need. Spread that around a little bit. Okay, so now we're just gonna see if it's hot here. Oh, that is hot. All right, so now we take our fish, we lay it away from us so it doesn't splash us. And basically what we're going for here is just a nice sear on both sides. You see it's going pretty good there, but in the end, obviously it's gonna be blackened, like the name of the fish is. So yeah, it'll probably take just, well, if it pans as hard as it's supposed to be, it'll only take like two minutes, but it'll probably take three or four minutes to cook. So see you guys in a bit. All right, give it a good old flip here. Oh, yeah. Oh. Ooh, yeah. One that this crispy edges right there, nice. And when it's done, you'll be able to tell the whole thing kind of gets a nice char to it. And yeah, so see you guys on this side's done. All right, I think we're about done here. Let's see. Oh yeah, take her off. Yeah, you can see we chopped off a little piece there just to out. That's hot. Make sure she's done. And now let's wait for it to cool off because it's obviously gonna be pretty hot. And we'll see how she tastes. All right, here we go. Got our nice cooked up, kind of cool off here. So you taste the blackened hot sauce. Okay. That's pretty good. That hot sauce. <coughs> that hot sauce is hot. I will tell you that. I, I, that's good. I like it. Go with the blackened to just get more flavor with fried. It's kind of like just deep fried, you know, which is good. There's it's just so much flavor <coughs> and spice in there. So yeah, that's good. I, I like this. And I have another piece. Wow. It has a kick to it. I can tell you that. Mm, it's good. So you just got that nice flaky meat in there. Mmm. A lot of people don't like catfish because they're just muddy and gross. But it tastes so good. Oh. <coughs> and a little spicy. Alright folks, so that's going to do it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It's just kind of a little collage of me just going, we're going get fishing. Like I said, saw in a couple videos, last video, I can't remember. A couple videos ago, you guys saw the new boat. That's what we were in this week so hopefully you guys will see more videos of this we kind of missed it we think it was kind of late it was a little hot out for catfish but we have it next year in like may and june all these catfish don't know what's coming so thank you guys for watching this video i appreciate it and i'll see you on the next one